Shalom, shalom. In today's video, I'm talking about how the unaccountable woman will cause the most hell during a breakup. Let's talk about it. Thank you for tuning in to another episode. Today I'm back at In Them Trenches, handling that kingdom business. Man, it is obvious that people are out here, you know, dating in relationships. You got some people that are, are, are set on being girlfriend and boyfriend, you know, and you have, it's getting rarer, you know, and we see a decrease in marriage as time goes on, especially in these last days statistically it's not what it used to be but i want men to understand one critical thing that i'm saying man if you get with a woman and find out there's some uncleanliness in her and you try to sever that relationship and in the midst of it you know you find out she is unaccountable Man, that woman has the trait in her to cause or to make your life a living hell, okay? Man, I've had some breakups from women, you know, a, a, a few women to where they were generally good women and it was on me, you know, it was on me. And these women left not only with dignity, with honor, with respect, but a woman that truly knows what she brings to the table, you know, knows how valuable and rare she is, she's not gonna put all that energy into trying to make your life a living hell. You know, not only will she be accountable, you know, in, in her possible shortcomings in the relationship, she's just not, uh, she doesn't have the time or capacity or want to dive into that low level of energy in order to make a man's life a living hell. But on the other end of that spectrum, brothers, man, there's a lot of women that they dwell in that low level of energy. If you, if you, were, if you only had insight as to what the last man that they were with and when that broke off, what they put him through, you'd have some insight to what I'm talking about and seeing that this is real. You gotta understand, man. Man, it takes a low frequency. Uh, you know, you got women that are stalkers. You got women that bust out windows. You got women that, uh, you know, slash tires, that key up cars. And here's the thing. Some of these women, they do this three, four months down the road because you're not with them and don't want to be with them. So man, I'll tell you, when it comes to discerning, man, you have to take note of a woman that does not want to take accountability for even small things. The small things that people, you know, would be like, oh, that's not even a big thing. A woman that does not want to take accountability for the small things, what makes you think she's going to take accountability for the major things? So, you know, you got women out there. Let me give an example. You have women out there that will step outside of the relationship, whatever the terms of the relationship. I'm not talking about biblical adultery. You know, I got plenty of other videos on that, but I'm talking about based upon your guys' agreement and, and commitment, she will violate that agreement, okay? And because she is caught red-handed and unaccountable, She's not gonna confess to it, even if you got the evidence. She's gonna gaslight you, she's gonna do all this X, Y, and Z. And then when you sever that relationship, oh, it's not gonna be a clean sever because this is the type woman that operates on that low frequency of always being unaccountable. You're not gonna get, you're not gonna force her to be held accountable. So she's gonna uh, try to make your life a living hell. This is a woman that will 
uh, show up in your job, make up all kind of lies. I've talked about uh, when a when a when a uh, when a, a breakup or a divorce happens. Nine times out of ten, the woman's gonna be the victim, and she's gonna go embark on a smear campaign to try to uh, decrease how people perceive that man and wear down on his character. An unaccountable woman, she's gonna take you all up and through that. You know, in her eyes, you could have been, she could have been on social media saying you was the best man she ever been with and she's never met anybody like you and you're her future husband and all of this. And then she's gonna, it, 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 I'm telling you, the minute you find some uncleanliness in her and cut it off, that's when everything she ever said, she's going to play it from a victim of, he deceived me so good and I didn't even realize that he was this horrible. Overnight, you're going to be horrible. So I tell men, you know, men out there, you, you might want to be very strategic in how you break it off with a woman. You know, even if you're courting, and y'all are okay, we're, 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 we're not married, but we're exclusive. You know, if you find some uncleanliness in that woman and you don't wanna uh, elevate her status to a wife and yet she has this, uh, this problem with being accountable, you might want to be strategic in how you sever that relationship because oftentimes an unaccountable woman does not care about the collateral damage or the consequences of her actions in making your life a living hell. I'll let you know, man, I work in the cybersecurity uh, IT field. And I'll tell you, man, I I've seen it. Man, women are great hackers outside of that field. Without being formally trained, they are great hackers. You got men giving testimonies of their accounts getting hacked, you know, after they break up with a woman. And that is the, that is how far a woman will go to avoid accountability, avoid having to deal with the reality. All of that in her mind is justified. Well, if you wouldn't have broke up with me, I wouldn't have hacked your dog on email account. I wouldn't have hacked your social media. I wouldn't have hacked your social media. You know, if you wouldn't have, if you would have stayed with me, I wouldn't have had to come up there to your job and, and, and make up all these lies. I told you, 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 you knew I was crazy. And here's the thing I want you to understand. An unaccountable woman, contrary to what those lips are saying and that lip service worship she's giving you, oh, she's got a crazy gene. She's got a crazy gene. You just haven't figured it out yet. And the goal of this video is to, to get you to understand you're just not gonna, you're just not gonna, well, I'm gonna just go over there and tell her we're done and the marriage is off and all of this. No, no, no. She's gonna be saying, sitting up there saying, oh, okay, this is how you wanna go. And she's gonna cook up all kind of crafty ways to make your life a living hell. You need to make sure you put some distance between an unaccountable woman. You know, I tell you, man, I tell more men, when you you put these women, or when you uh, sever the relationship, you know, i.e. before marriage and these women thought they were so close to, to getting the bag with you, Sometimes you need to, if they start acting crazy, you need to put a legitimate restraining order on some of these women. I got videos up on these channel where women are camping out in front of men's houses and causing them a living hell. And you can't move because if you're renting a place, you know, you, you gotta buy out that lease. And then these men sit up and converse with these crazy women when they should be filing police reports putting restraining orders. Let these women, I'm telling you, these women wouldn't tolerate that from you. Definitely wouldn't tolerate that from you. Police would be there in a heartbeat arresting you. Oh yeah, that man's crazy. I don't know why he, why he, you know, uh, this and that. No, no, you know, the same role. The minute she shows that sign of craziness and, and stuff is happening out of the norm and you can prove it's her, man, restraining order, press charges, everything you need to do because Women know that they have a certain amount of unhinged that they can get away with simply by crying, playing victim, playing on the strings, the emotional strings of the court of public opinion. I'm telling you, I'm telling you how to, how to have advanced tactics 
I'm not telling you to take my advice and do women wrong. No, no, no. There's some genuinely good men that have broken off of women because of things that they have uh, discerned in them. They've tested the spirit in these women and these women, they just don't cut the mustard. And because they don't cut the mustard, they're not just gonna accept that. They're gonna be on hands. They're gonna go, uh, they're gonna go, uh, you know, white jacket, hug yourself, crazy. They're gonna go mental on you. And as a man, you being a protector, the first person you got to protect is yourself. Close to the Yah Ministries kicking his gun barrel straight. Wow.